Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you how to solve this problem uh, using your calculator in two ways. So uh, let's see the problem. Uh, Maggie wants to uh, purchase a house uh, in five years. This is your N. Then she wants to invest uh, $80,000 in an investment today. 80,000 is your present value, and this investment will give her a 6% return. 6% is annual re return. Then how much will she have at the end of the five year if this investment compound daily? Compound daily is 365 days. So we want to find out the future value. The first way to do it, you make sure your financial calculator is PY equal to 1. CY equal to 1, CY equal to 1. So uh, after you done this, so then you can uh, input this number. Because your PY, CY equal to 1, we have to adjust the number to reflect the fa fact is this is compounding daily. So $80,000 is your investment for the present value. And your interest rate is six percent annually, but you are compound at three hundred sixty-five, and this is equal to this, and this is your interest rate. Then your uh n number of the year you have to compound at three hundred sixty-five. This give you this number, so it's your n zero is your PMT. We find the future value is equal to 107.986. This is the first way to solve it. So uh, if you don't want to adjust your number here, you just want to tell your calculator that I'm going to compound at a daily. So you can simply just go second. Always leave your PY at 1, then we adjust the CY equal to 365, uh, then enter. So now your calculator say I'm compounding at a daily. So uh, once you've done that, you don't need to adjust your number. $80,000 is your present value, 6% is your interest rate, then 5 is your end, 0 is your PMD compute at a future value. You can see that give you the future value is exactly the same with this one.